What's up, guys? Oh man, back again with another video. Whew. This is a different one. Yeah. So, first things first. Well, so it's started with Instagram accounts. So I started creating Instagram account. No, actually started creating, but. I went online on YouTube to learn how to, you know, gain followers, you know, push your followers up. So I did that. I learned and you know, I worked on my account and I had almost over 30,000, yeah, 30,000 followers. I was like, damn, I'm good at this. So I gave that account to my brother and I'll put that account here so you can see it. I gave that account to him because he wanted to use it and start to start his photography business. So I was like, okay, I'll just give it to you. Then I started creating other ones to sell them. And I have a friend, a good friend of mine. He he will buy it because he wanted to start his own business as well. So kind of like a clothing line, a bikini stuff. Maybe I'll put some pictures as well. So I did two, three accounts, 20,000, 30,000. Then I saw them. So she saw it and she thought I was doing a bad thing. But literally, I was making you know, money off it. I wasn't scamming anybody. I wasn't, you know, doing anything bad. So she thought it was a bad thing. She told me to stop. I was like, okay, I'm going to stop. Then I think it was the last two years, December. Shoot. Okay, so let's fast forward to early this, this year. She came back from her trip, from her holiday trip. Then the next day, she went on my phone and she saw I was still creating accounts to sell. Yeah, she got pissed. So we had a little misunderstanding, kind of like a, a breakup. So we did. Then we started talking, you know, coming back, started making things right. Everything. Then. She also told me she cheated on me twice. Probably multiple times, but she told me she slept with two guys during the last year in our relationship. And she told me earlier this year, I mean, after finding out I was doing this like accounts, so she started to tell me. I should have been pissed about that because she cheated on me, clearly. And even like stopped the relationship at that moment. But I really like it. I really like it. So I was like, you know, you know, let's forget about it. I'm this type of guy who doesn't really get pissed easily. So I'm kind of like, you know, forget it. It happened. So let's continue our relationship. Let's forget it. But she's the type, no, no, you have to talk about it. Even though we even talk about it, I'll take it after we get things out. Then, after the dinner, she left. She left me hanging outside. So after dinner, I was like, Yo, I'm gonna get something inside KFC, so. You wanna come inside? She was like, nah, I'm just gonna wait outside. I was like, okay, no problem. Then I get a text, Marcus, I'm going home, don't, don't come to my house. Oh. Put the text right here. So, don't come to my house. It's like, what, what happened? So, you, you guys are gonna make the text. Up. Up and she's like, oh my god, I don't like you anymore. All right. All right, so I went back to her place that night, packed my stuff, and went home. So, after she said, uh, I shouldn't come to her. I was that night, like, waking up. I was like, okay. So we started, you know, seeing each other, but not occasionally. Like, if she needed something, I would.
it in like movies, series and stuff like that. I would just go and do it, download it and give it to her. So I did that one time. One time I needed to get some stuff done by my, by myself, you know. Get some stuff done. So I went to her house like early in the morning to get this stuff done. I didn't call or say so because I saw her like that night, the night before, so Go and do it, but it wasn't cool then. So she said I broke into her, her house. Okay, I broke into her house. Yeah, I broke into your house. Okay. I admit I broke into your house. Right. Then she told me she reported me to the police. Yeah, she reported me to the police that I broke into her house. But, I didn't get any arrest or anything like that. But what people don't know is she also broke into my house in the morning. Like a week later, a week later or something, she broke into my house. But she didn't tell her friends or anybody about that. She just told her friends, I broke into her house. So they all hit me. Even my friends, she told my friends that I broke into her house. My friends don't even talk to me. So I just stayed quiet, you know, I didn't. It's like you just talk your talk, you know. I'm just quiet. I'm gonna let you, you guys think that you know, I'm the bad one. But she's literally. I wouldn't say the bad one, but just, you know, we did some dumb shit and you know, it's her hanging out with a friend of mine. This is actually a friend of hers. It was true head I met my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. It was true head. So I started hanging out with her then. She said I was sleeping with her friend. So I can't hang out with my friend no more. I met her before I met you. And I'm hanging out with her. Accusing me of sleeping with her. I'll put the text text message right here. So you guys should see. I have proof. I have proof of everything I'm saying right now. Which she was a good friend, a great friend. So I asked my girlfriend at that time, hey, does this art thing I paid for, do you want to go? Because we already spoke about it already. Then she was like, no, I'm not going to go. So three days or four days to the day, we painting. We were supposed to go for a painting. And then, like one art thing. So three days before, I asked her, hey, I still have the spot. Do you want to go? She's like, no, okay. So then I asked my friend if she wanted to go. So she said, yes, of course. So we went, we did a painting, we took pictures. Probably she saw it on Instagram. The next day, she texted me if I was sleeping with her. That was when she texted me. She was like, I used to live with her. I, I told her, no, I'm not. I'm, like, I'm a gentleman. I wouldn't do that. I want to sleep with you. She still did it. I agree with me. She's like, oh, you sleep over her, blah, blah, blah. I go to my friends, you know, Mark is a sleep over this girl, Mark is a sleep over this girl. And people start like, hating that girl too. So every time like, we hang out, like, we go out, we hang out, people stare at us like, oh, that's true. Oh. No, but that's not what it is. Right now, she's happy, she had a boyfriend. If my girlfriend saw her with a boyfriend, and I like, went up to her head and talking shit. But, no, that's a different story. So yeah, so let me talk about she breaking to my house. So, one time, I was just, no, it wasn't on a Thursday morning, I was just sleeping. I was sleeping, and then, I had my bread move. When someone comes to something bad, it shakes, right? So I was like, wait, what? So I turned and was hit right in my face. I got scared at that moment. Like, honestly, I got really scared. What the fuck? Then she started crying. Then I just, you know, made her feel at home. I was like, yo, it's, you know, it's my time to go to like, work. It's my time to go to work, so. You, I'm just gonna take a shower. You can, you can sleep. I 
made her feel at home when she broke into my house. I made her feel at home. But when she, she said I broke into her house, oh man. Marcus, get out. Marcus, get out. I was like, okay, no problem. I was just trying to like, down some stuff. That was all. It wasn't anything too much. But when she came to my house, when she broke into my house, I made her you know, sleep. I'm going to get a shower. I'm going to take a shower. Then come back. I was like, okay, come back. Dressed up. I'm going to work. Escorted her like, downstairs. Then she went home. Later, I texted her and asked, Yo, so what you did this morning? Is it called breaking in or not breaking in? She's like, Oh, it's not break. I didn't break into your house. Your house is always open. So what? If it's always open, I mean, you broke it. I didn't get a text. I didn't get any call. Nothing. I woke up and she was on my bed. That was that was it. Is it is that a break in or not a break in? You guys should tell me. She said I broke into the house. But that was it. when she broke into my house, it wasn't breaking. So who was really this girl? So I did. I made my point, I guess. Probably probably not all, but the ones I can remember that's what I'm See this. Thanks for coming on the trip with me. It's been nice having you here. Hope you have fun today. Love you.